Hello and welcome to another video from Learn on the Go. This video will briefly show you how to improve your writing through the use of different and varied sentence starters. Sentence starters are different ways that you can start your sentences when writing without using the same way. You can start your sentences using a subordinate clause, a fronted adverbial, an expanded ing clause, an ed phrase, an ly opener, a prepositional phrase, or a simile. Let's take a look at examples from each of these sentence starters. Number one, starting using a subordinate clause. While opening the door, Nancy heard a scream from behind. Here, the subordinate clause is while opening the door. Number two, starting a sentence using a fronted adverbial. A few days ago, John rode his bicycle along the edge of a cliff. Here, the sentence has started with a fronted adverbial, a few days ago. If you want to learn about adverbs, watch our adverbs video. The third way to start a sentence is using an expanded ing clause. An expanded ing clause is the present participle phrase. Strolling happily in the woods, Mary enjoyed the cold breeze. We're starting our sentence with the ing clause. Strolling happily in the woods. Another way to start your sentence differently is with an ed phrase. An ed phrase is using the past participle phrase as a sentence starter. Amazed and excited by the performance, Tracy clapped her hands at the end of the circus. Amazed and excited by the performance is the ed phrase that the sentence is started. Number five, using an ly opener. Cautiously, he peeked through the foggy window to see if the police were gone. The sentence starter here is the ly word cautiously. Here's another sentence starter using a prepositional phrase. In demand of fair pay, the workers took industrial action. If you want to learn more about prepositions, watch the prepositions video. In this sentence, in demand of fair pay is the prepositional phrase. Number seven, sentences can also be started using a simile. As adventurous as a roller coaster, this retreat offers a plethora of outdoor activities. To learn about similes, watch our literary devices video. So in this sentence, a simile is used to start the sentence and the simile is as adventurous as a roller coaster. There can be many other ways to start sentences. We have looked at seven different ways. Now let's see why using different sentence starters are important in improving our writing. Look at this picture. We're now going to describe this picture using basic sentence starters. The glowing moon is hiding behind the grey clouds. Dead trees are looming over the haunted house. There are broken doors and windows that creak. It is foggy and the musty air surrounds. The light inside the narrow hallway flicker while the bats screech. The dusty tapestry and the mouldy walls in the living room make me sick. Shadows dance on the cracked walls. This paragraph has started its sentences with the article the or nouns or adjectives. This is a basic piece of writing. Now let's look at the same paragraph using the different sentence starters that we have learned in this video. Surrounded by the ominous, musty, damp air, an ancient, derelict house sits on the edge of a solitary village. 
Casting its flickering glow on the decaying trees, the moon hides behind the grey clouds, while the bats screech and the mice squeak. Slowly, as the rickety ornate door creaks open, the dusty gust of wind will tickle your throat and rust your nose. Beyond the mouldy corridor, the cracked living room, decorated by the shredded and stained tapestries that were once grand, will welcome you. As silent as the dead, grotesque shadows will blow your beady eyes away. This paragraph starts with prepositional phrases, ing clauses, ly openers, and similes. Compare the two paragraphs that we read before and after to see which one is more effective. Writers use varied sentence starters to keep the reader's interest and to keep the audience hooked to continue to read whatever the writing is. Imagine starting all the sentences using the same sentence starter. It'll be dull and repetitious. To avoid that and to keep the readers engaged, it's important to use varied sentence starters. Now that you know seven different ways to start sentences, it's now your time to start writing. Describe this picture using as many sentence starters as possible. Good luck! Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and click on the bell so that you are notified when our next video comes out.